extradition to and from Australia is governed by the Commonwealth Extradition Act of 1988. Australia has extradition agreements with a host of countries around the world, including countries such as the USA, the UK, most uh, countries in Europe and Asia. And if a request is made of any one of those extradition countries for repatriation of an Australian citizen to face criminal charges overseas, our Federal Attorney General can authorise the issue of a warrant for the arrest of that person in Australia, even though that person is in fact an Australian citizen. And once that occurs, that begins the formal process of extradition to that foreign country. The bad news for anyone whose extradition is being sought from Australia is that once you're arrested on a provisional warrant under the Extradition Act, you're going to be held in custody unless and until you can show special circumstances as to why you should in fact be released on bail. Uh, that can be, unfortunately, a notoriously difficult hurdle to leap in Australian courts. That's not to say it doesn't happen. It's not to say that people don't from time to time uh, get bail pending extradition proceedings, but it is difficult and many people who are facing extradition to a foreign country find themselves sitting out the process in an Australian prison cell. The question of whether someone is eligible for surrender is, uh, to a foreign country is one that has to be determined by a magistrate whose job it is to assess the application and see whether all the, the I's have been dotted and the T's have been crossed, as it were. Uh, what those I's and T's might be in any given case depends largely uh, not only on the provisions of the Extradition Act but also on the precise terms of the treaty struck with the requesting country. In most cases, the Act and the treaty combine to ensure as best uh, they can that the process is largely a rubber stamp exercise. But that's not to say that people don't from time to time successfully resist extradition overseas. Uh, I've been personally involved in many cases in which extradition applications uh, have been successfully resisted. But it's not easy to do and the fact that you defeat one application doesn't necessarily preclude the requesting country from bringing further applications. Once a magistrate determines that a person is eligible for extradition, it's still up to the Australian Commonwealth Attorney General to determine whether the person should, in all the circumstances, be sent to the foreign country to answer the charges there. And that's a very broad residual discretion. So, in theory at least, even after someone has been ruled eligible for extradition overseas, it's not necessarily a foregone conclusion that they will in fact go. Mm -hmm.